Welcome to the basic electrical engineering class. In this video, we learn some of the basic concepts. To begin with, see the two pictures over here. Let us say this is a picture A and this is a picture B. What is the difference you can see in these two pictures? In picture A, the water is static. In picture B, the water is dynamic. At any particular instant of place over here, so there is no water is not static at this place but this water is changing with time if i represent the water as q here and i represent the water as q the here total charge is fixed water is not moving so charge is not moving so this is that as a total charge is q i can say total charge over here is q however here the water is moving with time so i will say dq by or dt usually we never say that here there is a current in hindi we say yahan par current hai nahi but here we say usually are pani mein bahut zyada current hai so you this current is actually the rate of flow of water and then we say that rate of flow of charge so we will say here i is equal to dq by dt so in this picture what is the objective is to tell you that let us imagine like charge is a, like a water and the current is the rate of change of water at a particular play point so if this analogy works so we can understand wherever there is a current it is actually the flow of flow at the rate at which the water is flowing in the river here also you can see that in this pond if you can have a to and fro motion of this wall which is not practically possible if there is like some in movie you will see that it is made up of some iron uh, wall and this is shaking if this wall will shake obviously there will be some oscillations of this water and this oscillation of water will have create some uh, charge to move water to move to and fro and this moment of charge can also give rise to current that is dq by dt so in the pond also there is a possibility in the river is possibility the river possibility because this is at a higher potential and this is at a lower potential and here because there is a oscillation if there is oscillation then also the water will move to and fro and this moment at any point there is a rate of change of water or rate of change of charge with say the current is flowing so here there is a potential difference here there is some of the change of oscillations are there this oscillation also create the current now we will proceed uh, with another slide just one more thing to add that when we say current current is the flow of positive charge because charge can be termed as electron electron is usually negatively charged is positive counterpart it will be current just to say if electron is there and electron is moving from point a to b then holes are usually moving because every electron when it moves from one a to b it creates the holes is moving from b to a so we say that current is actually moving from b to a so the current is moving from plus to minus and here the current is just making to and fro uh, oscillating uh, and a higher low high low high low like that it is moving so with this analogy of charge as water and current as rate of change of water we are proceeding further here we will say that instead of water in electrical we will say positive electrons positive electrons means the value will not be negative now it will be 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb because the unit of the charge is coulomb so one electron is having this much amount of this much is the charge so one charge is how much electrons just inverse of it that is 6.242 into 10 to the power 18 electrons if this much electron is there then only it will have 1 coulomb of charge so we can say in the suppose there is a point a and suppose there is a point b and this number of electrons this number of electron if moving from a to b 
then actually holes are moving from B to A and this holes movement is called the current and this electron we can say that if it is moving from A to B hole is the positive flow of charge which is moving from B to A and that is then current is not at come and then there is a flow of charge this if there is a flow of charge then there is a current we will see just in a while now another point is that this electron flow in the picture we have seen it is possible if there is a higher potential and lower potential then there is a hole will flow from a higher potential to lower potential if because electron flow from a negative to positive whole flow from positive to negative on the and there is a separation of if there is a separation of positive and negative charges then we can say that there is a potential difference between them we will learn this is the electric field uh, which is the uh, force divided by coulomb so uh, force is at force at which this electron is being attracted by the uh, positive charges so we will learn further in this but for now electron will flow only when there is a electric field second and there is a rate of change of magnetic field in the example you have soon seen that in the example that if there is oscillations over here like then also there is a water will shake and this shake can also create the flow of water and flow of water is the current so here this is just an analogy over there so here if the north and south pole is there and somehow this north and south pole will make a to and fro motion it can create a, in the conductor electron will flow that when we move forward some direction when we will go backward some other direction but it will oscillate like cross and dot so both will uh, uh, their cross means current is going inside the screen and uh, and dot means current is coming out of the screen second possibility you keep the magnet static and this conductor you move it upward if the conductor is moving upward the conductor will say there is a less number of flux suddenly the flux increases and the flux decreases then also the conductor is carrying a current so the two possibilities will work here similarly this is the actual diagram this is a diagram which is because shaking of magnet in the space is very difficult either the conductor you can move to and fro in your hand it is also not possible so better you keep the conductor in some circular shaft and in the this will rotate so conductor will automatically rotate second you keep a magnet static and the conductor will uh, magnet static and the conductor will rotate if the conductor will rotate and magnet is static so obviously what will there there will be some current the electron will flow now so far we and learn that electron uh, charge is nothing but uh, electrons the positive flow of electrons so the current is what the rate of flow of positive charge so current is the rate of flow of positive charge so i can we can write that it is equal to d of qt by dt let us assume that there is these are the electrons huh? these to be flow through this area of cross section this is a conductor of 1 mm square area and the length is 1 meter let us uh, assume it so if this number of electron we can flow from it in one second then we can say how much 1 ampere of current is flowing through it usually then when calculating this length is not considered in picture because length is required for to calculate the resistance this number of electron if it was moved from here and it will reach here so it will pass through it so one uh, because it is talking about the rate of flow of electrons or rate of flow of charge so if 1 kilogram of charge passes through any cross section 1 kilogram of charge passes through any cross section in 1 second then we will say the current is 1 ampere we can write the current like this 
and also we can calculate if the current is flowing from time t0 is equal to 0 seconds to t1 is equal to 1 second or 2 seconds we can also calculate how much charge has been passed from this cross-sectional area so like that we understand what is the charge and what is the current so next we can understand also that if this water is flowing the charge is flowing from here and suddenly there is some other type of box is there in between what will happen if water will flow this uh, box is there where there are multiple holes are there so this water will flow still flow through it but obviously the speed of the water will decrease if whatever the speed here v1 this flow will come down to v2 it's not be same but if it will be same how if some energy is driven so that this electron whatever it is flowing whatever the speed over here the same speed has to maintain over there that case you need some energy that means this current electron has to flow from here to here at a what the same speed then what will happen this what will happen means obviously these there will be heating effect this get heats up because there's a lot of friction will be there if more friction will be there this more heating is there anything is possible uh, if there's friction so these small small holes these all represent some type of uh, free, uh, frictional things which gives an analogy to you as uh, a resistance so there will be a lot of resistances and friction which uh, leads to heating or you can create light or you can do any work <clears throat> so there the resistance uh, as I told the resistance can be defined with uh, physical property or ability to resist current so R is equal to rho L by A and the most important part here is length and area and area if increases obviously if a increases the resistance will decrease so it is giving a more area to go this electron so it is good another more important part is the resistivity of the material it is made up of this may be made up of copper this may be made up of aluminium whatever whatever silver so its resistivity of this material is important otherwise somebody say this is made up of wood or plastic so let us see the resistivity of silver the objective of taking this one millimeter square and one meter so that we can get some uh, value which is you can have a correlation if i have a silver it is coming around 0 0.0159 the lowest copper 0.0168 and uh, let us go to the higher end air suppose i say it is 10 to the power 3 to 28 and teflon 10 to the power 18 right the objective of saying here that this if you have a copper the resistivity is low only this much ohm per millimeter uh, this much ohm millimeter square per meter so we can also write in, in terms of ohm meter also and but the thing is that this is uh, if i write in ohm meter square per meter like conductor we don't have in meter square usually the conductors are in millimeter square so this sounds very appreciable so you have a that is why the conductors are made up of copper silver is very costly and sometimes it is aluminium but aluminium you can say resistivity is high so it will give a higher resistance if copper it will give lower resistance so you can understand that air is also 10 to the power 3 not like from 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the 8 so it is if i am calculating in terms of per meter so we can have another picture over here if the resistance is calculated in this much resistance if i calculate in this and if it is air of 1 millimeter then the resistance is still 1 ohm to 10 to the power 5 ohm is not so so this resistance is an important concept that r is equal to rho l by a for air also there is a value one ohm for in one millimeter so you have to be careful that one millimeter of gap is not sufficient most of the time so next thing we'll learn in the next video